One of the last things biologists expected to find in the balmy Caribbean Sea was an ancient Greenland shark, a creature known for dwelling far off in the icy Arctic. Yet researchers, while temporarily catching and tagging tiger sharks off the coast of Belize, caught a Greenland shark, or potentially a Greenland shark hybrid, a species that lives for centuries in the deep sea. We suddenly saw a very slow-moving, sluggish creature under the surface of the water," said Devanshi Kasana, a biologist and PhD candidate at Florida International University's Predator Ecology and Conservation Lab. The observation was recently published in the science journal Marine Biology. At first, the researchers thought it could be a six-gill shark, a dominant and fascinating predator of the deep sea. But they photographed the rarely seen animal and confirmed it was a Greenland shark. It looked like something that would exist in prehistoric times, Kasana added. Indeed, Greenland sharks belong to a family of sharks that are around 100 million years old, existing when dinosaurs dominated the planet. The sharks spend much of their lives in the dark, thousands of feet underwater, where they grow slowly, move slowly, and age slowly. Down in the deep sea, where nutrients are rare, moving slow to conserve energy is an important adaptation. Greenland sharks are clearly well adapted for these depths. They live for well over two and a half centuries and perhaps considerably more. They are the longest lived vertebrate on Earth. So what's a Greenland shark doing in the Caribbean? Spotting a Greenland shark near a coral reef in Belize was certainly an unexpected surprise, but it's not unimaginable. The relatively little known species is known to thrive in the deep seas in and around the Arctic yet they could potentially dwell in other deep ocean regions too. This includes the Caribbean. After setting a line in Belize's protected Glover's Reef Atoll while monitoring and researching tiger sharks, the biologists returned the next day to find their line had moved a couple of miles away from the coral reef and into some 2,000 feet deep water. When they pulled up their scientific catch, they saw the unusual shark. It looked very, very old, marveled Hector Daniel Martinez, one of the researchers who spotted the shark and a co-author of the study. The slope off the nearby reef plummets down to some 9,500 feet deep. It's a profoundly cold, dark realm, ideal for a Greenland shark. The deep seas are famously little explored and not well understood. The discovery of this Arctic shark underscores that just because we haven't seen a phenomenon, doesn't mean it's not occurring. We know so little about the deep ocean that pretty much anyone can find something new if they were down doing something unique down there," said Alan Leonardi, the director of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Office of Ocean Exploration and Research. Finding a Greenland shark in Belize wasn't easy. It requires diverse researchers, local fishers, and the Belize government collaborating in a protected area of the ocean. It gave researchers the opportunity to observe something scientifically unprecedented. This discovery is made possible by scientists working together, said Demian Chapman, one of the study's co-authors and director of sharks and rays conservation research at Mote Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. It was very close to coral, noted Chapman. You normally think of them as being close to ice. A looming question is if this particular Greenland shark had traveled to the Caribbean from Arctic seas, or if it had lived in deep tropical waters for much of its life. It's unknown, but there's a good chance there's more of them roaming down there in the dark waters where we can't see. Chapman said, I doubt it's the only one.